New evidence could help solve the mystery of the death of NBA star Lorenzen Wright. Wright was the seventh overall pick in the 1996 NBA draft. He played for his hometown Memphis Grizzlies and inspired thousands of kids. It was a shock when he was murdered in 2010. Police found the body 10 days later, but the case went cold for seven years. Special correspondent James Brown has a preview of tomorrow night's 48 Hours. At nearly seven feet tall, Lorenzen Wright was a giant in his hometown. First as a local high school star, then at the University of Memphis, and finally in the NBA with the Memphis Grizzlies. Lorenzen was the hometown boy that makes good. Former Memphis police director Tony Armstrong says Wright's impact was big. You can imagine with all of the lives that he had touched, not only here in this city, but all across the world, it was a phenomenal story. By 2010, Wright was 34 years old and at the end of a long NBA career. But then, one night in July, he suddenly went missing. This disturbing 911 call was placed by Lorenzen Wright. 911, where is your emergency? I don't have nothing but gunshots. But he was not able to identify himself. Dispatchers say they could not locate the source of the call, and no one made the connection. He had disappeared, and he was gone over all of these days, and nobody knew anything. This is April from Channel 3. Investigative reporter April Thompson covered the story for the Memphis CBS affiliate. His mother, Deborah, really kind of pushed that something's not right. We checked all his friends from here to Atlanta, Mississippi, everywhere, so we, I don't have a clue. Ten days later, the shocking news. Lorenzen Wright's mother runs toward investigation. Police in Memphis, Tennessee have found the body of former... The police found Wright's body near a backwoods road some 20 miles outside of Memphis. He was shot five times. This was Lorenzen Wright. Who would be hating him that much? As Memphis mourned, months turned into years, and the city became obsessed with solving the murder of its favorite son. There was a lot of pressure to solve it because of who Lorenzen Wright was and what he meant to this city. Then finally, seven long years after the murder, in November 2017, police got a break. They found the murder weapon in a lake. How unusual is it to find a key piece of evidence some seven years later? They found a needle in the haystack. Weeks later, police arrested two people, a landscaper with a criminal past and Lorenzen Wright's ex-wife and the mother of his seven children. Just the thought of it, is this even real? CBS News special correspondent James Brown has been following this story. Uh, JB, really, the ex-wife, why do police believe that she did it? And, you know, Vlad, even with the uh, incredulity in your voice, most people would have that same reaction as well to what is very sad and a sobering case. But keep in mind that Sherrod Wright and, of course, his ex-wife and Billy Ray Turner, the landscaper, both have pleaded not guilty. Now, the prosecution is alleging two things. One, that she and the landscaper were having an affair. And second, they allege that she killed Lorenzen Wright, her ex-husband, for a million-dollar life insurance policy that he took out a short time before his death. Given that they've both pleaded not guilty, how solid is this case? And, and that's a very good question, uh, but keep in mind that this was a cold case for quite a while. As a matter of fact, seven years specifically, and as you can imagine, memories may be just a little sketchy over that period of time, and evidence may be not as solid as one would like. Um, but there is more than one suspect in this case as well, and often, as you know, Vlad, uh, those who are accused start pointing fingers at each other. So that could complicate matters. It's such a fascinating story. Uh, James Brown, thank you so much for reporting it. You can watch the full 48 hours. Lorenzen Wright, no defense, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, only on CBS.